this is the main menu here and when you press hybrid it shows you the mode of driving and the same controls as before you go back to the hybrid and then you could check all menus here and you have hybrid radio you have media the usb drive doesn't seem to work with this so you have to make a separate connection because these european radios come with their own uh, usb output and it's not part of the main harness and you have the aux here i guess that needs to be pinned and then you have a current G current position here so this radio actually connects to a gps antenna and that could probably be showing the the gps location that this car is but uh, this this radio actually comes with a with an sd card with a european maps on it but there's no trinidad map so you will you when i connect the gps antenna i might just be able to get the the latitude longitude and gps location kind of thing and then this is the navigation and you have phone here that you could connect and then you have a next menu here you have android auto you have apple carplay you have information and then you have settings the android auto and the apple carplay are wired so although this this radio has a wi-fi module in it the wi-fi module basically communicates for traffic information had we had maps in trinidad and tobago for hyundai from hyundai but uh, you don't get wireless android auto or wireless carplay with this radio so once you populate that particular usb using that um, uh, the wired thing for the apple carplay or android radio the drawback would be that you wouldn't be able to play any music from a usb stick unless you have the music on your phone itself and then you have settings here and then you have navigation sound display bluetooth you have date and time you have a wi-fi here like i said this wouldn't be working with the wireless carplay or wireless android and then you have a screen saver and then you have phone projection you could enable disable android auto and carplay and you have advanced and you have digital audio broadcast and all that kind of thing and you have system info you could update the software and all that yeah and 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 and, 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 and so information you are having all this little app so in information you have all these apps the traffic life live point of interest weather live parking filling stations and all that i guess the wi-fi module that is inside this would actually communicate with your phone and give you information for traffic and all that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the steering wheels controls seem to work and like i said the usb uh, usb module doesn't seem to communicate with this and i don't get reverse car park reverse camera on this so the reverse camera the usb and the sound outputs to be able to enable them i need to identify the pins and make a correct wire, wiring harness for that yep and it looks cool and and these are all actually separate parts that you will have to buy you will have to buy the 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 plastic trim which is separate for the 8 inch radio versus the older uh, 5 or 4.3 or 5 inch radios the, the older one wouldn't be suitable for the newer 8 inch radio yeah but the the pin layout in the back and all that for the old radio and the new radio seem to be the same except that this european radios broadcast audio via digital and then this one also has a gps antenna it has a separate port for the usb drive and um, and 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 that is about it